Hey everybody, Bob from Paw Productions here. Uh, in one of our earlier videos, the I believe it was the Bob, How to Pack Your Bob or Survival Bob video, I mentioned having a mini kit. Well, this is it right here. Sorry for the camera angle. I'm going solo on this one too. This is basically one of, this is like a mini kit that I carry in my uh, cargo pants pocket when I'm out hunting, fishing, boating, whatever you call it. It's not something I drag around town with me all the time. Um, those are the guys that are out playing around with their uh, Line 2 gear and LBBs and stuff. You can put this in your uh, BDU pocket. Basically, it's just a surplus pouch that I found locally. And I've added some things to it. So, I'll explain to you what I got in here. Basically, got a spare ziplock because there's always a thousand to one uses for that. I have an emergency blanket. Alright. We got mosquito netting for your face. It's like a little collapsible uh, one quart canteen right here. Pretty nifty. It's kind of like a little bladder, more or less. A little wrist compass. This is a fire, like a fire steel. I kept it in the original package. I probably need to take it out, but it's a uh, fire steel. Kind of looks like this. As I mentioned, I always carry it on me. I also carry it on my keys, so it's right there. Then I have a survival straw for uh, water filtration. This, remember this is just a mini kit. It's not something I go and spend, in the, spend out in the woods for two or three days. This is like last ditch. I've lost everything. Always on your person so you're always guaranteed. Remember we talked about those three basics. Shelter, water, and food. Well, this is a mini kit so there's no food but there's your water. Here's your shelter. Fire starting. So you're halfway there. Because that filter is just for dipping down in there. I also have a small bottle of uh, Port Aqua tablets in here so I can treat on the go so I don't have to stop. And then I have some extra little odds and ends in here. I've got some matches that I've waterproofed with uh, you know, wax and everything like windproof style matches that are wrapped in foil. I've got some more foil with some uh, strikers for the matches in there. And then in here is a small little first aid kit. There's not much in here. It's a couple butterflies. The little thing of uh, extra, like super extra strength Tylenol. And like two or three little uh, disinfectant wipes. So, that's my mini kit. Uh, basically, like I said, it all... Can fit in your pocket. Doesn't look like much spread out, but this will give you a better picture just in case. I was trying not to hold the camera to do this, but that's everything right there. And that small little pouch will fit in the side of your cargo pants pocket, or pretty much anywhere. Even if you were to travel or something, you could toss this anywhere. But like I said, it's really small. Fits it in there and covers your basics. Uh, a lot of the guys out there want to build uh, the little Altoid kin, uh, tin kits which is good. I have one similar that around here with all the little fishing string and all that other stuff like this but this is this kit right here is to ensure that I have my most basic needs on me at all times. It's a little bit bigger than the Altoids 10 kit but you're not going to be able to fit a water filter <clears throat> or half this stuff in the Altoids kit anyway. Those are those are like super super last ditch kits to be honest they're cool they're cool to have they're like you know little show off gimmickies and always good for redundant backups but when you build your kit keep in mind it's just like your bob fire you know fire water shelter and food you know keep you dry keep you fed keep you hydrated not a lot of food in here but you get the idea but anyway i mentioned in the earlier video and i just wanted to do a quick little uh... show and tell per se in case people ask exactly what it was I had on my kit and I'm Bob from Paw. If you have any questions about it ask ask on the the channel on the comments and uh, I'll answer them for you. Thanks and have a great day.